I'm lucky to have been nominated by the Southern Caucus to stand for the position of presidency, which I believe this, this afternoon it will be decided. Yes. They say you're a peacemaker and also, you know, a man who's going to unify this divided house. Are you a fit and proper candidate? Exactly. You are aware that the parliament at the moment is divided. It's effective to admit that problem. To solve a problem, first accept that there is a problem. So there is division. Fortunately, all my life as a chief, I'm a community leader. In pub in Zimbabwe, I'm a peacemaker. And I can assure you that I'm the right person to unify an African parliament. I, I just quickly chief, how does it feel to be the way you belong? To see that you know all of the values behind you, except of course Mr. Chihana, the message to you. It's for the message to Mr. Chihana is it's democracy. The caucus yesterday decided he was in the meeting. But he decided to leave before the nomination. Uh, he knows better, but I think it was clear that he would not even get a nomination. Uh, so, but in democracy, you have to accept that there should be someone, one person who should go ahead, the other one can follow. There is no problem. But then I want to thank my guests for the confidence. Over 2018, they have been putting my name forward. And I want to thank them that this afternoon, I'm again being presented to Africa to lead an African parliament. I thank my cookers, I thank the citizens of this country. Uh, a quick one, Chief Will. Harmony uh, and peace prevail today? No, no funny moments or chaotic scenes? I don't foresee any funny moments or chaotic scenes. Any Democrat, any MP who is law abiding cannot behave in a manner inconsistent with such clear democratic uh, guidelines that we have. Yes. All right, All right. Uh, Chief, thank you so much indeed. Of course, that's uh, the candidate of the Southern African bloc, and of course, he has been endorsed. They're very adamant about really taking this institution to greater heights. So we're all keenly waiting for this moment. Kylie Lekumalo, SABC News, Johannesburg.